very comfortable with your brain. We can add a little independent exercise with the foot. So the first step is this. Boom, tack, tack, boom, tack. Boom, tack, 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 tack,
Then um, I would like to do one a little bit more advanced technique for those of you who already play for a while. And we can combine it with this rhythm so we can all play together, beginner and advanced players. If you're just starting out, feel free to practice the, uh, the technique with us. And later, if you get confused, you just go back to the basic rhythm. Uh, the technique is called Gris and it comes also from the Iranian percussion tradition. And the idea is a little bit similar to a press roll on the snare drum.
I don't understand the question. Uh, whether it influences the sound, the position of the thumb. Does it influence the sound? No. It's the same. Mm -hmm. yes, maybe, yeah. But it influences the, the movement of your hand, the position of your hand. That will be a question which I want to Okay. With the left hand, the idea is the same. Yeah, but the idea is the same. But we cannot use the thumb because the thumb is right here on top. We don't want to change the position of the left hand. It basically stays in a similar position as we used for the tap. Except that we go like this. But we, don't, we do not go more to the front or to the back. With all the techniques we play, we want to keep the movement as effective as possible. So no matter if we play the tap, or the snap, or the bass, we basically stay in the same position. So we don't have the thumb, but we have the, the pinky, the ring finger, the middle finger, and the index finger. So we go one, two, three, four. We want to keep the fingers straight, but still very relaxed. And um, it is an open stroke, meaning that after we play, after we play the stroke, we don't keep the fingers on the skin like this. And the movement all the time comes from here. So we don't play it like that. But we play it like this.
It is also a bit more difficult in general with drums like yours that have a shallow frame. For left self playing, it's nice to have a, a deeper frame like this. Uh, but it, it works on these. You just need to be a bit and a little bit upper body movement. Um, for the general playing, for the sound, it is better not to have the drum resting against the body. So after the practices for a while, it becomes automatically that you keep it free for certain for your normal playing. And you just add the body when you need it. Now, let's, um, for, for this it's important to pay extra attention to your left hand. Because usually it's the weaker hand and in the end we want it to be very smooth with the same sound from both hands. So let's play the same exercise, but this time we start with the left hand. And we accentuate the downbeat. 